Having a single source to manage the supply chain is the key role of a relocation management company, or RMC for short. There are a lot of people involved in the process, so the RMC brings this together to ensure the transferring employee has a seamless experience. Ultimately, RMCs are tasked with two distinct goals, alleviating anxiety. In other words, they exist to manage all the stress associated with moving by taking the burden off of the employee and their family. Managing costs. RMCs are a fiduciary to their clients. They are tasked with ensuring the relocation policy parameters are upheld and they manage the budgets laid out by their clients. So how exactly did the relocation industry begin? The relocation industry started to take root post-World War II as organizations needed to move their key talent to different parts of the US. Initially, companies would simply pay to move a person's possessions and get them to the new location. However, as people owned homes and had other ties to their communities, this became a more complex process than simply getting them to the new location. The relocation industry started to formally take root in the 1960s with the formation of the Employee Relocation Real Estate Advisory Council. Today, this organization is known as Worldwide ERC. In the 60s, organizations started providing buyouts on employees' homes and got involved in reimbursing other expenses as well. Some of the financial aspects of moving had favorable tax treatment, so over the next decades, the industry matured and RMCs were formed as companies started to outsource the function. While internal employees can provide these services in-house, it was deemed more cost-effective and a more efficient utilization of company resources to outsource these services. Forward to the 70s and 80s, and a proliferation of different relocation management companies were formed, with some focused entirely on outsourcing, others focused on partial outsourcing, and individual players such as moving companies, temp living providers, mortgage companies, etc., started to sell into the relocation management companies along with client corporations. Today, there is a huge mix of competition and cooperation in the relocation industry. And the relocation supply chain is a formal structure of partnerships that differs from one client relationship to another. As RMCs look to increase their revenues, they are looking to provide a higher degree of service and management of the relocation supply chain. There are so many players and functions involved in a relocation. It makes a lot of sense for a company to use an RMC as it gives the employer one main contact point for all their relocation needs. The RMC works with many different types of providers for every employee relocation, including realtors in the old and new location, appraisers, home inspectors, household goods movers, third-party services like auto shippers, for example, mortgage companies, title companies, spousal support providers, travel coordination, temporary living providers, school selection, and many other providers. An RMC will also provide their client company with expense tracking for payroll and tax updates, policy exception management, and many other services. As the U.S. domestic market for RMC services matured, another aspect of mobility was also growing. Companies were crossing borders to establish a presence and to tap new resources of revenue for their goods and services. This meant that employees were crossing borders to set up the organizations, hire local workers, establish businesses and governmental relationships, etc. Once cross-border assignment management was needed, RMCs jumped in to fill this need by providing all the domestic services, but also providing international coordination, including immigration assistance, compensation management, payroll services and reporting, destination service providers, language and cultural training, tenancy management, ongoing assignment support. Ultimately, RMCs have become partners for their clients and act as their backroom for all the relocation functions, either domestically, internationally, or both. These relationships are critical in driving the human capital needs of clients and getting their workforce aligned with the strategic direction of the company. This has become more than just an administrative function, but one aligned to fully supporting a company's bottom line.